Hey, it's me, Mr. Will. Follow me on Twitter at Real Mr. Will, M I S T A. Hey, it is possibly going to happen to you if you're in the profession. Well, if you're in the profession, it is going to happen to you. You're going to talk to someone and they're not going to show up at your appointment. That's called a no show in most cases. I call it a me show. You're the only person that matters that shows up. It's important that you show up. So, if you get a no show or a me show, take it with a grain of salt. Call your upline, talk to your upline, and I'm pretty sure they will have some great encouraging words for you. Remember, success is a duplicatable pattern. Your upline have went through those no-shows, those me-shows. That's how they got to where they are today. They had no-shows, me-shows. But if you want to grow up, you got to show up. So it's important that you show up. When you're talking to people, also, you have to let them know that it doesn't matter to you whether they get in or not. It matters only to them. Because if you're committed, you're going to make it work. You're going to find the people that are going to help you build a strong and solid team. The people are out there. They're out there. They, they're called lookers in most cases. That's what I call them, lookers. And you have to have the develop the mentality or have the mentality that you're looking for lookers. Okay? So just remember that if you know if you get a me show or no show, don't sweat it. Think about what your goals are. You know, your goal may be to be a stay stay home mom or be a stay home dad. So when you get that me show or that no show, or whatever, just think, hey look, you know what? I'm doing this so that I can create residual income for my family so that I can be a stay home mom or dad and stay at home with my kids and instill my values and my family values into our kids instead of them having to always be farmed out to you know a daycare or a day prison as some people call it <laughs> but um and and someone else installing you know 90 seven percent of the values and um, you know what their beliefs are into your children because think about it if you're if your children are at like daycare and you're at work by the time you come home you know five six o'clock in the afternoon you eat there's homework maybe there's sports or something like that you know and your kids go to bed at 7 45 8 30 whatever you know how much time did you actually spend with your children so some people want to be able to homeschool their kids. So when you get that no show or that me show, think about it. Hey, look, I'm doing this so that I can homeschool my kids. You know, or I'm doing this so that I can spend the summer with my kids and actually spend some money on them and go some places and not have to worry about saying, oh, that costs too much. Or no, we don't need to purchase that. And I'm not saying just blow money, you know, BMS, blowing money fast. But, you know, being able to be feeling good about purchasing something and not worrying about, hey, if I purchase that for my kids while we're on vacation, it's going to take money away from, you know, my bills or whatever. So, anyway, think about why you're building your business and why you're in the profession. Some people say the industry. Don't worry about the no-shows. Don't worry about the me-shows. It's important that you show up. You gotta show up to grow up. Stay around the campfire. And basically that means go to the places that your growing upline is going to. If they're at an event, you should probably be at that event as well. Take care. It's Mr. Wheels.